Hi guys! I'm very excited about this video. <laughs> if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I'm obsessed with The Bachelor, Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise, all Bachelor, all things Bachelor franchise. And Hannah's season just premiered on Monday. Now, if you followed me in my last season, I didn't like Hannah last season at all. I didn't like her from the beginning. They had that first date, um, her and Colton, and I didn't like her. I felt like she was very insecure, but not insecure in like a I'm trying to do better way, but an insecure in like a bully way. I thought she attacked Kaylin. I thought she was very full of drama. And so when they announced her as The Bachelorette, I was pissed. She was like villain-ish in my opinion. I felt that she just was very fake, didn't come across very genuine, and I just didn't like her at all. I can believe she made it as far as she did but since then I am not someone who holds on to grudges I don't keep my opinion and just like stick with it forever I watched the um I don't know if you guys watched that the bachelorette like all the bachelorettes came together for like a reunion and at the end of it they kind of gave a little premiere into Hannah and I thought wow why is she being so normal it seems to me like what she said when they announced her was actually true. When she said it, I kind of was like, based on what I had known about her um, and the vibe I got from her, I felt like that was just kind of like a load of crap. When she said, you know, um, for my whole life I've been trying to be perfect and, um, you know, not being myself and I'm done with that, that's not going to work for me. And I was like, ugh, blah, blah, blah. But it seems like she really is like living up to what she said because from the preview of the season before the show even started I was like okay she seems a bit more refreshing. I'm not taking back what I said about last season but now seeing more of her and seeing like she really kind of came out of her shell and is confident now and I think that that is kind of well that's great to see but also I like her more and more and now based on the first episode I love her there's something that goes on with me I don't know if this happens to you I think it does for a lot of people when they announce the bachelor the bachelor I'm like oh wow great that's a good choice you know you like them and then by the end of the season you're like what the heck like I don't like them anymore I feel like this season's gonna be the opposite I went in not liking Hannah at all and now literally within one episode I like her so much more she just seems way more grounded than she did last season she seems more confident, um, more sure of herself, and it's really great to see that growth because not everyone is perfect, and you can't always like everyone, and I think that she's really showing that. Like, I feel like they always try to make The Bachelorette look so perfect, and I think just from the first episode, they saw, they were fil filming her, like, doing that, like, you know, long, thoughtful walk through a field, and she was making fun of herself and felt awkward about it, and I think that's so relatable, and not even just relatable, but just real like it, it just she just feels more like a real person like she's not trying to fit the mold of the bachelorette but she's trying to make the bachelorette mold fit her and I really like that I didn't think she was gonna do that she's really I feel like owning it and really just being herself I really like her a lot now I really think that she owned it and before we get into the guys I also wanted to mention Demi and Katie is that her name Katie I think so when they came ugh, seemed so produced and fake to me. The fact that Demi came in knowing that some guy had a girlfriend, like why wouldn't she have gone up to Hannah? That morning, when she was there getting ready with her earlier in the day, she was wearing the dress and hanging out with them, like why wouldn't she say, by the way, there's a guy that has a girlfriend? Like, it was just so fake and so produced, and the producers obviously knew this guy had a girlfriend. And if I was Hannah, I'd feel really betrayed by that. Producers who were supposed to be looking out for you, and even by Demi, like why wouldn't you say anything before she even met him? I don't know, just... <clears throat> really, really annoying. That's just kind of what you expect from the from the series. Now for Scott, before we knew that he had a girlfriend, I found him very uncomfortable and very nervous, and then of course, like more nervous than most of the people. But now we know why. <laughs> Obviously he was a dick, and like that whole thing, like, oh, like, throwing it back at her saying like, oh, you were just dating Colton, like actually, do you know how much that difference of time is? And also she's being open about it. Everyone knows she was just dating Colton, he was trying to keep that a secret. He's like, oh yeah, I was, so technically I was still dating her on Monday, and it's now whatever day of the week it was when they did the premiere. Okay, even if you broke up on Monday? This girl, in, the, in your mind, you're single, this girl still thinks you're coming back for her and that when you get sent home, you two are going to be together. I also wonder if I'll be on Paradise. I feel like not, because like if you have a girlfriend and you come on the show, they're not going to put you on Paradise, right? Whatever. But one of the reasons I really liked Hannah, what really, like, I already was liking her throughout the episode, I am so happy and surprised and like proud of her, to be honest, for really coming out of her shell and being comfortable and like, putting herself out there. But this scene where she came up to him and was like listen this is this let me talk I 
love that she owned it so much like honestly if you go back and watch that first one-on-one -on -one date with Colton and then watch the premiere of her season she's a completely different person you could see how nervous she was on that date with Colton and not even just nervous but like you could see how she was just trying to be agreeable and you know the girl next door and like trying to come off as this one specific thing and you could see how now she's just owning who she is and is not afraid to just like jump down people's throats i love that i always hate the bachelor bachelorette when like they know everyone doesn't like someone is like oh i'm trying to avoid the drama like the fact that she's really p pointing that out i really think that that's gonna do her well and the fact that she had no issue coming right up to him and like just saying listen you have a girlfriend and she didn't take shit from him and she just didn't let him like walk all over her and she was like come on let's go you're leaving like i just love that really like proud of her for doing that so now on to the guys i'm very excited about this i feel like there's a really good mix of guys this season i think that normally what happens is i don't like a lot of people there's like one or two guys i kind of like and i don't like a lot of them this season i feel like there's two or three guys who i'm like ew no go away i hate you and um that are gonna be the villains or that's gonna last longer than they should and then there's like five or six guys that I really 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 like a lot that I'm like they're gonna make it I hope she ends up with them one guy I specifically don't know if she's gonna pick him like to last long but I really like him so if she doesn't I'm available <laughs> and then a lot of the guys that are like still there like oh I didn't take notice of too many people like I have I literally took notes during the episode you know ways to remember these guys and like, there's like maybe a five or six that I just kind of wrote their name and I didn't say anything because they just didn't make any kind of impression. And there are quite a few guys. I'm like, oh, they're cute. That's sweet. Like, there's not that many that I'm like turned off by. So I think that's nice. I think that she definitely has a good group of guys here. My favorite guy first. I don't know if I'm, yeah, he was the first out the limo. So we're kind of going in order here. Garrett. Okay. For, I hate Garrett from Becca's season, but this Garrett, oh my God. I don't know that she's gonna pick him. I don't know if she's gonna end up with him. I don't know how far he's even gonna go. I don't even think they talked. I'm pretty sure at the end he was like, I didn't even get a chance to talk to her. I love him. He's the cutest in my opinion. Like he's 100% my type, which has nothing to do with Hannah, but I think he's gorgeous. He says he's a golf pro. He had like a cheesy joke, but oh my God, I like him so much. He's totally my favorite, like number one. I really like him a lot. He's not on my top picks for her though. Like I don't think he's gonna be in like the top four or anything but I do really really like him like he's personally my favorite next is someone who I do think is gonna be in, like maybe the top four or five and that's Peter the pilot who came in the uniform he's so cute I, I mean he's really really cute I do feel like she liked him like I feel like she had a little crush on him and who wouldn't in the uniform but he did <laughs> he did remind me of um someone who I used to date so that that's kind of like triggering me <laughs> but um he gave her his wings how you get like, two wings in your pilot and I feel like that's a symbol. Whenever someone gives someone something on night one, they have it at the end. Like, um, Colton, she gave him that box of butterflies and he picked one up and kept it. Like, I feel like this is something to, to look into. Next is Tyler C, who I really like. He's like a dancer and he's a construction worker or something, like a contractor. I really like him a lot. I feel like he's gonna be around. I feel like in the preview for the season, I feel like he was there a lot. Okay, Connor S, I really like him for her. Um, I do feel like he's gonna be around quite a while too. He's not my personal favorite, but I do feel like they really clicked well. They did kiss, I wrote that down. He's the one who jumped over the fence and I thought that was really cute. So I think he will go far too. Jed, whose name I do not like, but I really do like him. He's the one who played guitar for her. He's kind of my type, but like my type that I'd be nervous around, not my type that I'd be comfortable around like Garrett. But yeah, so he sang to her and played the guitar and I do think he'll be around for a while. He was in a lot of commercials for like the coming up season and I'm pretty sure she was on a date with him in another country. So we know he makes it to like the out of country travel. So I do think he'll be around for a while. Oh, now we're gonna get into this guy who I oh god Luke he seems so full of himself to me I just he comes across like oh I'm this nice guy but he's so full of himself he the one who stole her first he talked to her twice that time that she was upset about um Scott or whatever his name was he's the one who went after and like tried to make sure she was okay and he got the first impression where I was like blah, 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 blah. and he looks like a, such an intense kisser which is gross. He honestly, as much as people like Brian on Rachel's season, he's like giving me the vibe Brian gave me, which I didn't like. Like he's too smooth and he's like charming her too much. He's too charming. But I do think that he will have some kind of drama. Like he looks like 
he's gonna be involved in some drama and she's gonna be like what and there is that part coming up that says how she's very vocal and saying like she's not a virgin and she's had sex and like no one should judge her for that and they shouldn't but I feel like he might be the person who's judging her just a thought because he just seems like oh I'm so like caring for you but really I'm judging you and think I should own you like that's he gives me that vibe I don't like him at all another one Cam. I didn't like him from night, the night that she met him. She met him on After the Final Rose and she gave him the rose then and I already didn't like him. He was the one who rapped. Oh, I didn't like him. He just came off so slimy to me and he's so much worse now. Like, I didn't like him that night and he barely even spoke that much, but now, because he came in with the rose, like, way to be a dick about it. Like, you could just be like, sorry, like, I don't want to make any trouble, but he's like, oh, like, always be Cam. I'm so cool. Like, oh, you know, me just being me. Like, ew, go away. He's already being too cocky and he's like trying to be like oh I'm not here to make friends like I don't think he said that but he said it in not so many words like I feel like he's trying to be a male version of Corinne from next season and he's failing miserably no one can be Corinne <laughs> she was actually funny he seems like just a dick and I don't like him at all um, I actually don't think he's gonna last that long Connor J he is half Chinese he's a car salesman I think he's really cute he spoke French to her and I feel like he was kind of stumbling over his French I just thought it was really sweet I like him I'm glad she gave him a rose I think he's sweet Again, I don't think he's gonna last that long, but I do think he's the type that's gonna be on Paradise. Dylan, I didn't like him. It's not like I didn't like him, I'm sure he's a fine human being, but he was wearing the white tux and he just seemed too like, clean cut for my personal taste. And she also, I know, said on Ellen that she likes guys who are scruffy and who have like facial hair, like who look unwashed. She was talking about Bradley Cooper in uh, Star Wars Porn and she said that that's her type. And this guy was the opposite of that and that's, same, I'm like the same as her, like I like a guy who looks scruffy, not a guy who looks like has shiny, like slicked back hair, and that's what this guy looked like, so Dylan, not for me. Devin, he was the one who made the virgin joke, who was like, I'm a virgin, she was like, oh, and he was like, I'm kidding. <laughs> I thought that was actually pretty funny, like I guess some people took it the wrong way on in Twitter or whatever, but I thought it was pretty funny, so I'm glad he's sticking around. Mike Johnson, I liked him in his like intro package, but during the night, I feel like he talked about the other guys a lot. As much as I don't know that he's like a, like a villain, I feel like he has the potential of being the complainer in the house, like focusing more on the other guys than his relationship. That's just the vibe I'm getting. And there's a couple more people who I like barely wrote anything for. So we have Mateo, all I wrote for him was Superman Chin. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Matthew, I literally wrote nothing for him. Darren, all I wrote was that he looks like a football player. Tyler G. Okay, Tyler G. All I, wrote, all I wrote for him was poor man's Jared. Like, I didn't like Jared back on, was it Caitlyn's season? Jared, who's with Ashley I. And Tyler G. just reminded me of Jared, but like a poor man's Jared, if you know what I mean? Luke S., who's a poor man's Nick Vial. Nick Vial. He, she met him early. I don't like him. I liked Nick. I don't like this guy. I don't know. He's giving me like a beady mouse vibe. I don't know. Joey. He's cute. That's all I wrote. I also wrote that he reminds me of Jordan from JoJo's season. He just gives me that vibe. I don't think he's gonna last that long. Jonathan, all I wrote was that he's pizza. I think he's the one who brought her the pizza. Grant, he also stuck around. I wrote mustard sausage party. That was a funny joke. He came in and saying, like, since this is a sausage party and he like brought mustard or something, I thought that was funny. Kevin. Kevin, I like. I'm glad he stuck around. He was the one who fumbled. He like dropped all the footballs. I thought that was really cute. I think he's cute. I think he's gonna be totally like underrated and he's gonna get sent home. Like I think it was Tanner. Um, was it Caitlin's season? Or Jojo? I can't remember who the season he was on. But Tanner, if you know Jade, Jade and Tanner Tanner, he was kind of like that. Like he was cute. Everyone liked him but he was kind of like, underrated and like kind of you know, sailed by. I feel like that's gonna be Kevin. The last person she gave the rose to. Can we have a conversation about this? Out of the one, two, three, four, five guys, if not more guys that she sent home, she kept John Paul Jones. Really? Like, she was making fun of him when they met. Like, really? Like, my name is John Paul Jones. My friends call me John Paul Jones. You can call me John Paul Jones. Like, go away. I would have sent him home right then and there. I don't know. He seems like he could be the villain, but he could also be just like a crybaby, and I feel like that's the vibe I'm getting from him. He's just gonna be a big old crybaby. He's gonna be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, when he, she almost sent, did send him home since he was the last rose, he was like, I'm gonna be so bummed. Like, how embarrassing. And he's just really, like, egocentric. Like, he's all about him, and I... I don't think he's gonna last long. Like, I feel like she kept him because the producers were like, listen, if you don't like, like, seven guys and you're only sending home five, um, keep one of the ones that's, like, gonna be annoying and, like, funny for the, for the show. And he's the one that she kept because he's obviously, like, 
whatever he is. Now there's a few people that I was bummed, or maybe just one that I was bummed that she sent home, and a few people I just want to mention. Chasen. I was sad that she sent him home. I thought that she really liked him. I thought he was really sweet. He was the one who was a pilot, but he wasn't in uniform. I thought he was cute. I was kind of bummed that she sent him home. I hope he's like the new grocery store Joe who like got sent home night one, but like really makes an impact, and he's on Paradise, and... Yeah, I hope so. And then we have Matt Donald, who a lot of people really liked, and they were like, no, like, I didn't want him to go home. Uh, I don't know. He was a farmer, and he kept saying, like, old McDonald, but, like, Matt Donald, uh, whatever. He's actually a medical salesman and not a farmer, I think. Like, he had this whole farmer thing in his video package, and then underneath his name, when he walked out of the limo, it said medical salesman. So, what? What? I don't know. He reminded me of Garrett from uh, Becca's season who I didn't like, so I didn't really like him, so I wasn't too bummed that he went home. And then we have Joe. Joe, the box king from Chicago. I did that. Don't, please don't be mad at me. I can't believe I just like tried to do a Chicago accent. But he came out of the packaging, like that box packaging material thing. It was funny, I guess, but like such a waste and so bad for the environment. All those little styrofoam balls, like what? Like, that was not necessary. But I feel like he was trying so hard to be grocery store Joe. Like, there was only one grocery store Joe. Like, other people gonna have that vibe and be sent home early and be like them. But this guy, you're not him. He was actually really cute, I thought. But he was trying way too hard to be grocery store Joe. Like, he was like, I'm from Chicago. I have an accent. I do some kind of weird job in Chicago. I'm gonna be the next grocery store Joe. Like, stop. I was, like, annoyed at him. And I do think he'll be on Paradise. So that was my first impressions and my... What's the word? reaction but I want to give my predictions so I could be totally off here but these are going to be like my top five I'm going to give. My number one is Garrett personally for me but I don't think he's going to make it to like the top five so I'm not going to put him in that which is sad. I don't have an order for these these are just people who I think are going to make it to the top five. Peter the pilot in the uniform. Tyler C the dancing construction worker guy and we have Connor S who jumped over the fence. I really like him for her and then we have Jed who again I really like for her but I don't know. And then we have Luke, who I hate, who's gonna make it longer than he should. But I think those are my top five. Is that five? I can't even count. But that's my current opinions and first impressions and predictions for season 15, Hannah Brown of The Bachelor at let me know your opinions down below who are your top five top four top three make sure you are following me on twitter and instagram because i do live tweet with it and sometimes i post my tweets on instagram if you don't have twitter and yeah so if you want to do that then go do that all that stuff is linked down below thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time